Hi guys, welcome to week five of fiction. Um, we are officially past the halfway mark of the summer, so um, things will be probably feel like they're moving quickly in the next couple of weeks, especially considering since we go Wednesday through Wednesday, um, it looks like we just have seven weeks in this class, although we actually have eight. So still be staying on top of things, doing your reading, and keeping up with your journal, and um, you will be able to feel good at the end of these eight weeks um, that you have accomplished a lot. So great job so far in the discussion forums. I'm really enjoying reading your responses to one another and to the discussion prompts. Hopefully you're feeling like you are getting this, um, this analysis more and more, how you dig into the story and read for more than just at face value. So this week, um, we will be doing more readings, and um, a few of them are from your textbook, and one of them I have linked as a PDF. It's Ernest Hemingway's Hills Like White Elephants. Um, be thinking as you read that for the first time, what are these two talking about? What is the subject of this story? Um, so think about that and then discuss it in the discussion forum. Uh, I also have indicated in the discussion forum for that story that our job in discussing the story and the topic of the story isn't about our own personal opinions on that topic. Uh, as hard as that may be, especially with this topic, it's important to be able to objectively analyze. And analysis is subjective, certainly, and we bring ourselves to literary analysis and how we look at literature. But when we delve into just arguing about the topic instead of what's going on in the story and the characters and the theme of the story itself, uh, things can get kind of messy. So just do your best to do that and respond to the questions thoughtfully. Um, so of course, do your reading this week. And it's in your best interest to do that sooner rather than later because you might want to choose one of those stories for your kind of first major literary analysis paper, which you will be working on this week. So if you look at the assignment post, you'll see that I'm asking you to analyze a specific literary element within one of the stories that we've read so far. Um, and I said a few weeks ago, sometimes we'll skip over a story on our text list, but if it's in our text list on your syllabus, it's fair game for you to write about, even if we haven't discussed it at length. Um, so choose one of the stories that we've read so far, and you will be analyzing for a specific literary element, even though you might have to weave more than one together. So you may be focusing on the theme of the story, but you'll certainly need to look at symbolism and character if it's appropriate. So again, put on um, lenses to look at the story through a certain lens, whether it's point of view or theme or character, and attempt to make an argument about that in the story, what it means, again, further than face value. And this is kind of an honor code thing, but please don't write about something that you've already written about. If you've already taken comp two, try to avoid choosing a story that you've already done a literary analysis about. Um, so, yeah, just please do that. And also be very aware of the sources that you use. In the assignment, I say that, you know, your main source for this paper is going to be the story itself. Um, the library has an amazing database that I've linked to that has really great secondary sources about literature. So you can play around in there to see if you can find something that would be a good secondary source. Um, if you need to look up what a word means, if you need to look up a phrase or a proper noun, that's, you know, another source you might use. I want to beg and plead with you, though, to not look at any of those free essay sites, at Sparknotes, at Schmoop, all of those sites that kind of tell you what to think or give you examples of other students' writing because you can do better. Um, so often I'm so disappointed when students plagiarize on those free essay sites because those students' writing 
it's typically not that great. So trust yourself. Be confident in yourself that you know how to do this, that you can pull something out of a story and give it meaning beyond face value, and that you don't need other people to do that for you. So if you have any questions or concerns about sources, please email me. Maybe email me a link to the source and I can tell you kind of yay or nay or perhaps how to use it better or how to find a better source. Um, but I know that's a temptation for literary analysis papers and I just, again, beg you not to even look at those websites because you have it in yourself to do it on your own. Um, there's an optional peer review forum that is posted this week. For your final essay in a couple of weeks, there will be a mandatory peer review forum um, and conference with me. But for this paper, it's just in your best interest to post it in the peer review forum. I encourage you to copy and paste it um, as text, as a new discussion topic, and then your classmates and I can respond to it and give you some ideas and edits. Um, so do that if you'd like again sooner rather than later so you can get some feedback but the final draft of this essay is due uh, Friday July 12th by uh, midnight actually 11:55 p.m. Um, so be working diligently on that and be sure that you've reviewed all of the resources that I've posted about MLA style and integrating quotations and really starting to hone your skills at doing this um, I will say if you haven't taken Comp 2 yet, you're going to have a huge leg up in Comp 2 having done the things you're doing in fiction this summer. So that's something to kind of look forward to. Okay, um, I think that's it. So the reading and writing. Um, your creative writing Part 2 assignment is due uh, this Friday. I had made a, an error in when I said it was due, so I made it due at the latest um, possible time. So I'm sorry if I did make some errors, I think, last week in um, like that, because I was kind of in a rush trying to get everything done. So I apologize if anything was unclear. But continue to post questions in the questions and concerns forum. Email me if you have questions. Um, just let me know if you need anything. But keep reading, keep discussing. Oh, something new in the discussion forum this week. Um, your original post, one for each story, again, by Sunday night, but you need to respond to two classmates by Wednesday at noon instead of just one. So two classmates and two different stories. That's just a little bit extra this week. So keep it up. Let me know if you need anything, and good luck.